Hi guys, um, I, mm, sorry, I just woke up recently, so I'm still a little, uh, sniffly from allergies. Um, I am here to do, uh, the book tube watching tag. I think that's what it's called. Book tuber watching tag, book tube watching tag. Um, I was tagged by Adam over at Memento Mori and also Jenny from Jenny King. Um, I think they're the only people that tagged me. Um, I'm not the best at doing tags, um, but this one is pretty fun, and so I decided to go for it. Um, so yeah oh and uh original by harriet uh rose rosie um also i'll link all three of their oh my gosh uh, i'll link all three of their videos uh down below all right uh so the first question is how many channels are you subscribed to so i'm a very ambitious human i'm subscribed i just uh checked Last night, I was subscribed to 442 channels. Yeah, so, um, I think of the 442 channels, maybe five are not booktube related. I'm subscribed to, like, Ellen DeGeneres, Jimmy Kimmel, um, Conan, I, the, uh, maybe just those three. Um, I think I was subscribed to, like, one, like, vegan, um, or like a couple of like cooking type ones, I guess. Um, but besides that, they're all booktube channels. So like 400, let's say 30, even though that's, it's probably more than that. Um, I do think that probably at least 50 of those channels are inactive. Um, maybe even closer to 100. I, I don't like go through and check because I can't be bothered. And what if someone that stopped making content that I really love, like Yamini or Tanya or Erica or something like starts making content again I, I don't want to miss that so I say subscribe to people even if they've stopped producing things or making things for uh, the YouTubes all right uh, number two is uh, when do you normally watch booktube normally I watch it in the morning so um, if I have like sometimes I have like a week stretches or something where I'm work waking up consistently like you know 30 minutes before I have to leave for work then I don't really have a lot of time. My goal is always to wake up two hours before I have work, so I have like an hour of booktube watching time, and then an hour to like get my food ready and um, just get ready in general. Um, so it just kind of depends on whether or not I wake up. I also watch on the weekends, um, but typically when I get home from work, it's like I can sit for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, and I basically have to start cooking right away. And that's kind of like when my reading time is, is in the afternoon. I'm not like fully awake in the morning so it's hard for me to sit down and read um, but it's a lot easier to watch people talking about the books that they're reading and stuff like that so um all right uh, number three is how do you balance booktube watching reading and making your own videos ha huh, I don't <laughs> um I I don't balance it at all which is why I'm constantly behind although I feel like I'm kind of on top of it right now I'm getting a lot better at um like not watching the whole video um or like not watching every single video which I feel like is just like so bad I feel for some reason like once I subscribe to I'm committed and I need to watch every single video that you put out but there's definitely some people that I favor um, and that I would like to be watching every single one of their videos and then other people that are like uh, people that I like but I don't feel like I have like a super strong connection with that I don't have to watch their whole video um, but yeah so I don't really balance it very well I feel like I'm constantly not watching enough and not reading enough and I definitely don't really feel like I'm making any videos recently I mean I know I just posted a bunch but I feel like I don't know vlogs it's not really like I'm making a video I just sit down and export like the footage that I've you know it's like this it's the easiest thing um so this is the first time that I'm doing something kind of like that I have to think a little bit about um so yeah I don't know I'm just a mess. Whatever. I don't care. All right. Uh, next question is, is there a difference between videos you like watching and videos you like making? Um, in general, no. I don't like watching TBRs. I don't like making TBRs unless it's for a readathon. So I will watch and I do like making uh, TBRs for readathons. I like watching and making hauls. I like watching and making or doing uh, vlogs. Vlogs are like my favorite videos. <laughs> um, I, yeah, it's it's the same. I, I make the content that I enjoy watching. Although I will say um, I do like watching people do bookshelf tours. Although I guess I don't like the ones that are like super specific bookshelf tours. I like kind of like an overview. There's another tag that I want to do also that has to do kind of like with um, your bookshelves. Um, I'm sorry, my nose is just running so much. Um, I'm just gonna... <laughs> 
allergies. Um, so I like like kind of the overviews, but I don't really like like showing every single book um, or I don't like watching that. I just think that's kind of like boring. I don't know, just like whatever. Um, and I do like, uh, like I really love watching uh, Megan Sue from The Restricted Section. I feel like other people do it too, kind of where there's like reading challenges like The Book Riot reading challenge or um the reading women challenge and so they show the book that they've done for the challenge and I really like watching those but I feel very uncomfortable and like I feel like weird making them maybe I'll try again um like towards the end of the year when I do another kind of like update thing um but it feels weird for some reason for me to do it maybe because I'm by myself and I watch them and like they're interacting and so it's fun but whatever all right uh so uh Number five, who is the first booktuber? Oh my gosh. Sorry, the cats are a little crazy right now. Who is the first booktuber you subscribe to and do you still watch them? And uh, the first booktuber I subscribed to was Ashley over at Climb the Stacks. I'm so sorry about these allergies, guys. Um, I am so subscribed to her. I don't really watch her videos a lot. Um, I know she like stopped making them for a while and I really, I haven't watched one of her videos in a long time. I feel like um, the books that she talks about are all books, I don't know, she's like, she's, oh, she is like super intelligent and, she, you know, wonderful and great. I just don't really watch her that much. All right. <laughs> uh, number six, who is the most recent booktuber you subscribe to? All right. So I have no idea because I kind of go on like binges where I find like a newish booktuber and then I like subscribe, I like go through their comments and I, you know, so... I have no idea, but I was watching booktube last night, and let me see if I can find, I um, watched a video, so I basically, when I subscribe to people, I just, like, subscribe, and then they are in my subscription feed, so I don't, like, go and, like, watch all their old videos or anything, so I don't really know about them until I've been watching their videos a little bit. I know, I'm, I'm so, whatever. Um, so, uh, I just watched last night, uh, Alex, from what page are you on? Um, his May wrap up and it was so good. He read Night um, by Elie Weissel, which I also read last month. He read Educated by Sarah Westover, um, Tin Man, which I know was like super popular. Like he, oh, first of all, he was a joy to watch and like I really enjoyed the way that he was on camera. But also all the books that he read were like amazing books that I either like, not that I either, that I want to read because the only one there that I had read was Night. But uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed his video. So I will definitely link him below and you should really check him out. He's got about 320, maybe like 330 subscribers. Uh, so, you know, go give him some love, as they say here on the booktubes. Um, all right. And share an old favorite booktuber. Um, oh, I guess I didn't look at the rest of these questions. <laughs> Because I guess I'm going to like use that for number eight, share a new favorite booktuber. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'll, I'll add someone else in here. Okay, so for seven, share an old favorite booktuber. Um, I'm going to go with Denise over at Arts Books Live. Um, live, I think. Uh, Denise is like, I don't know. I just love her so much. Her like aura and persona is just so beautiful and just wonderful. It's like soothing and vibrant at the same time. She's just an absolute joy to watch. Uh, she's like right now doing a blackout where she's reading only African American authors this year and she's going through a move right now I believe um, unfortunately because I was like out of it. I missed you know a bunch of videos but um, yeah she's just absolutely wonderful and if you want like suggestions on like black authors to read she obviously has a lot because she's doing a blackout right now so uh you should really check her out if you haven't already um and then for number eight share a new favorite book too i already talked about her but i'm gonna talk about her again uh hooked on books i don't know what your name is if you're watching this can you tell me what your name is please um i feel like i kind of know what it might be but like shasa or i don't know oh. don't listen to me um she is incredible. The production level on her videos is like what I wish I could do if I wasn't so lazy. Um, and she also reads amazing like literary fiction type things. And yeah, she's just, I just like wish I was her basically. Mm. All right. Uh, what is one of your booktube pet peeves? I am going to hold this for ransom. I want to do a video on it. So stay tuned. Hopefully I do that soon. Um, it is lately I've been noticing a lot and it's driving me 
crazy and it's not a booktube problem it's like a world problem but it is very apparent in booktube also and I just like hate it so much um I hate it but I understand it but I hate it so it's <laughs> it's bad um what have you learned from watching other booktubers is question number 10 um I don't know Ooh, I like I just watched Jenny's video and I liked her response like um about uh like diversity and in independent bookstores. I feel like the book to community has kind of just um like ingrained in me like the need for like m not more but you know like I definitely did not think about who the authors were before I joined booktube and like you know if it was translated or if you know they were a non-white author or anything like I never thought about that before I just kind of picked up what I read and you know Chuck Palahniuk was my first favorite author then Anne Rice and then Kurt Vonnegut so you know <laughs> uh, I definitely feel like I read more I mean I wasn't like you know not reading diversely before but I definitely feel like my lens has widened thanks to booktube so I guess that is from watching other booktubes kind of <laughs> booktubes booktubers all right and um oh my gosh i have to get ready i have to go all right um optional tags some of your favorite booktubers um i don't know who has not done this tag i uh, hooked on books if you haven't done it obviously i tag you and alex um i am going to uh tag you too from what page are you on um i don't think denise does tags let me see brie brie hill have you done this uh let's see uh, basically, if you haven't done this, you should do it. I can't really think of anyone else specifically, so I'm just going to tag those three people. And Vanessa from Split Reads. Mm. Baby, did you just hiss at your sister? So naughty. All right, so yeah, uh, Vanessa from Split, Split Reads, Brie from Brie Hill, uh, a Derby, Derby Lane Reads. She probably has already done this. Um, and then Alex and um, Hooked on Books. So I will put those people down below, and I'll see you guys later. Sorry, this was a disaster. <sighs> This is what happens. I can't, it's just ridiculous. 